Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson. Pretty warm day here for footy. And with me is Melbourne great Gary Lyon. Hey, Hutto, really looking forward to the start of this one. Here today, the clash between Port Adelaide and Western Bulldogs. set to run through them. Both four lines are in for a big day here. This could be a high scoring affair and both sides would want to make the most of their chances inside 50. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners are ready for the players. The captains make their way to the center circle for the coin toss. Western Bulldog winning the toss. Both these teams coming off good wins last week. We prepare for what shapes as an enthralling contest here today. We kick things off. The opening bounce thrashes it. Rockley gathers it now. Boat does get the handball away. Lloyd goes off the ground, releases the handball. Getting in the way was Unkley. Ball up in the centre square. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? It's a really entertaining game of football. The kick from Lysette. The handball now from McRae. Just gave it away. Fighting hard was Norton. He gets his hands on the footy. The ball mopped up. Burn Jones, Agadow. Picks it up. Kicks hurriedly. He wins the ball in the air. Hartlick has resources out wide. Strong mark in the contest. He drives it. Takes it well. Elects to kick. Clean pick up by Cleary. We'll get a ball up. Tap down. Does well to keep it in play. The umpire will ball it up. Wins the ruck duel. And the boundary line wins. Looks like we'll have a throw in. Ball tossed back in. Clears the contest. Jonas goes off the ground. Taken well at ground level by Pau Pepper. Is in his possession. Williams will be the recipient of the free. Goes by foot. Good mark there. Gets a touch to the ball. Collected by Tsuckley. Gow is making his way onto the field. Now we'll get a ball up. Won the hit out. Keeps it alive. Under some pressure. Goes by hand. He gains possession. Bottom pallet. Fends off the tackle. Gow drives the kick. The umpire calls for a stoppage. English won the hit out. Rushes with the kick, a clean pick-up. Use the hands and gives away the free. He might kick a goal. Into the post it goes. Now they lead by one. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Ends up turning this ball over. McRae puts it on the boot. Takes the mark. 
Moved on by Wood. A chance to gather the ball. There'll be a ball up in the center square. What can you tell us, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. He's got the footy in his hands. Ball gets cut off. Manages to get it onto the boot. He has to hold onto those. Giving it off with Suckling. Both sides have set up really well defensively early. Finding the ball was Motlop. Collects the loose ball. Dixon picks it up. Just got the hands in the back there. Dixon moves it now. Does well to cut off the kick. Wallace goes with the kick. Hands up. Marks in a bit of space. Sinks the slipper into it. Bottom pallet marks uncontested. Uses it now. Rosie uses the body well. Chose to kick it. Intercepts the ball well. Wallace has resources out wide. Liberatore found a way to mark that one. Moves it by foot. Ends up turning this ball over. Looks up with a kick. It's a foot race to get this one. Dixon kicks hurriedly. The loose ball scooped up. Takes a simple grab. Port Adelaide finds a way to get that one through. His teammates rush over. They draw first blood. About to resume play. One down. With the ball now. McRae unable to hold on. And now we'll have a ball up. Johannesson got in the better position. Gowers won himself a free. Uses it by foot. A good job keeping it in play there. He wins the ball in the air. Penetrating handball. Dunkley gets on the end of that handball. Gets the loose ball. Interesting handball. Has it now. Here's Motlock. Got boot to ball. Rockley didn't mark it. Pushes off the tackler. McLean throws the ball away. Burn Jones collects the kick. Hunter gets a quick kick away. Decides to soccer it. Cleary collects the loose ball. McLean slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. And pumps it through the big sticks. Yes, I know. That's his first. He acknowledges the crowd. Western Bulldog. Get the front. We're back in motion. Tap down. Gathered by Wines. Hands that ball to the opposition. Johannesson pushes his opponent off with one hand. Terrific mark there. Jonas moves it by hand. What did you make of the first term, Gas? Western Bulldogs should be happy with their lead, Hutto. They came out focused and committed to a very good game plan. Time to see if there's anything interesting in the stats. Western Bulldogs are getting the ball inside 50 more than the opposition, and at the moment, they're capitalising on the scoreboard. Players ready to start the second quarter. Thumps it clear. Takes possession with quick hands. Hurried kick. Goes for the goals. Bruce goes off the deck and nails the goal. Gets some reward for his efforts. That's two in a row for Western Bulldogs. Western Bulldogs by seven points. Intervening brilliantly was Wines. Wines throws the ball away. Suckling with an easy mark. Goes with the kick. Good grab there from English. Moves the ball by foot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Drives it out of the pack. Tackle locks the ball loose. Quickly onto the boot. Ball up on the outer side wing. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of football. 
Decides to go to the middle. Burn Jones found some space and marked. Lost concentration for a moment. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Marks now and can send it back. Jonas goes with the kick. Smith there to mop up. Ball up calls. Lysette gets onto the ball. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Punched away. The bounce made it tough. Burton going for number one. Got hands to it. English runs onto the field. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Punches it clear. Bonson Pally goes for territory. Scoops it up, just gets it onto the boot. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Lloyd, a long driving kick. Hunter determined to reach the ball. Bonson Pally picks up the loose ball. Wow! How good was that? Pretty happy with that one. The Bulldogs with the edge right now over Port Adelaide. Back with another set of bounce. English thrashes it. Rockcliffe knew what was coming. Fantastic tackle. It'll be a free kick for that high tackle. Gowers tries to gain some territory. Daniel takes the pressure of the goal kick upon himself. He takes aim. He's missed the lot. Daniel puts it out on the full. Burn Jones moves it now. A chance to reload the attack now. Daniel going for number one. Western Bulldog. Clee is now 14. Looking to bring it back into play. Looks to move it by foot. Collected by Jonas. He can take off after that handball. Winning the ball in the air was Motlock. Gets it out of congestion. Mops up the loose ball. Uses the bump. We have a free kick. Kick by Johannesson. Doing well to intercept that kick. Burgoyne keeps that one low. Norton gets in the way. Burn Jones decides to soccer it. Dunkley collects it. Gowers just gets it out of the boot. Off the ground. He's kicked the goal. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the board. He's enjoying that goal. About to resume hostilities. Hammers it. Burgoyne has the ball. Dishes it off. Is in his possession. He gives chase to the footy. Gains some territory. Cleary, a bit too casual with the tackle. He's got the football now. Finds this and marks well. Moved on by Jonas. An easy grab for Wines. Ops the play on. West off dug out the loose ball. My ball, says the umpire. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Good mark and looks to send it back. Ends up marking uncontested. Western Bulldogs are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. The loose ball picked up. Wine slams it onto the boot. The kick from Westhoff finds himself in space and marks. Here's a chance for Motlock. Puts boot to ball. The contest, no match for him. I agree with you there, Hutto. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Going for goal number one. It somehow pitched over the line, and it's a goal. Smiles all round. Port Adelaide within the three goals now. We resume hostilities. Punches are clear. The ball in the hands of Wallace. Slams it onto the boot. The ball mopped up. 
Daniel gets it out of congestion. Shaki got hands to it. Going for goal number one. Started the kick wide, and it never came back. Western Bulldogs, 5.15 points. Players move as they look to provide an option. He drives it. Finds this one all by himself. Port Adelaide trailing by 15. Tap the break. Western Bulldogs have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. Let's have a closer look at the stats. It's been a clearance game, and right now, the Western Bulldogs are on top in that area. Thank you, Gaz. Everyone takes a collective breath, and we'll return with the second half. We're set to go at the start of the third quarter. Thrashes it. Difficult ball control. Now we've got a ball up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Gone! What a tackle! Rockcliffe gets wrapped up by Lloyd. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Constant pressure and rewarded. Lysette kicks it. Trying to avoid everything out there. Just threw the ball. Puts boot to ball. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. The tackle slipped high and results in a free. And the mark will be paid. Moves it by foot. Dixon did well to win that ball. Western Bulldogs just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Goes for goal. Oh, what about that? That was really special. Congratulated by his teammates. Port Adelaide have kicked the last two goals. Port Adelaide now only trailed by nine. He did really well there and gets the reward. Western Bulldogs are getting the opposition on turnover. They are working hard without the ball and putting on the pressure to win it back. The umpire calls for the ball now. English just swats it away. Great control there. Norton releases the ball. Just put it on the boot. Finds a bit of room to mark. 40 metres out. West off with a fairly straightforward shot. Going for goal number one. Just sneaks in from behind. It's under two goals now. Trend goes to bring it in. Decides to play on. With a driving kick. Marking in space with Wood. Western Bulldogs are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. The ball goes out of bounds on the full. He drives it towards goal. Had the journey, but it's gone offline. Just under two goals the difference now. Trend go with the kick in duties. They chase after the loose ball. Slick with the hands. And now McRae. Hartley can't hold on to the tackle. The ball is kept in. He lays off the pass. He slams it towards goal. Mona, 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 he loves Mona, that one. Western Mona, Bulldog, 33. Mona, late Port Adelaide, 20. Mona, Western Bulldogs Mona, need to be far more competitive Mona, with their clearance work. They can't Mona, win games that way. Mona, He's put that one through. Couldn't complete the mark. Pat Pepper loved kicking that one. Port Adelaide reduced the margin. Thumps it clear. Bonson Pallet on top of the ranking points. He's having a fantastic game. He gets his hands on the footy. Suckling just put it on the boot. The mark has been taken. Western Bulldogs have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. 
Bonson Pelly gets the loose ball. Hartley couldn't stick the tackle. Gets it away under pressure. The boundary line wins. Rockcliffe runs onto the field. Umpire calls for a throw-in. A critical stage of this one. It's cut off by Johannesson. Turned it over. Lobs the handball. Hacking it out of there. Picked off the deck. Burton goes it alone. What a lovely goal from there. A second goal in the bag. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Port Adelaide could kick back-to-back -back goals. Port Adelaide behind by one. Winning it was Johannesson. He gains possession. Lloyd couldn't snaffle it. The loose ball scooped up. Just manages to release the kick. Clean from the half volley. He goes it alone. Doing well to intercept that kick. Houston kicks hard along the boundary line. Moves it on. Couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. Lloyd going for number one. Narrowly misses there. Western Bulldog. Cleek Port Adelaide. 34 to 32. Plays onto himself. Runs it over the boundary line. Toss back into play. Thumped by Bruce. Norton coming onto the ground. We'll get a stoppage. English got a fist to it. Applies a bump. Umpire calls for a boundary throw. Ball back into play. Clears the contest. Just manufactures what he could. Manages to get a hand away. Missed the target. McLean gets the ball. Going for goal number two. It was always pushing that post and pushing it so hard. It's hit it. Western Bulldog lead the power by three. Ready to bring it back into play. Plays on. Gets the handball away. Burn Jones wins it back. Bonson Pally now heading off to the bench for a break. It'll be a ball up. It's very tense at the moment. English thumps it clear. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Punched away with the ball now. We'll get a ball up. Swatson applying the physical pressure. Power Pepper just goes bang. Moplock collects the loose ball. Quickly onto the boot. Marks all alone. Going for goal number one. Great mark. Not too far from goal here. Just has to kick truly. Huge opportunity to grab the lead. He's excited about that one. The power go back in the lead again. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Western Bulldogs giving themselves a chance on the turnover, but they can't seem to be putting it on the scoreboard. Burn Jones unable to lay the tackle. They can create from this. Doesn't connect with the kick, and it'll be coming back. Port Adelaide had the lead at three-quarter time. By three. Port Adelaide will be looking to not only hold their lead, but they want to put this beyond doubt early and run away with a big win. What do the stats tell us, Gaz? Western Bulldogs are going to struggle to get back into this game if they continue to kick poorly in front of goal. Thanks for that, Gaz.
Let's see what this last quarter throws up. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. It's a turnover. Gathers it now. Gives it, don't argue. Easily takes the mark. Works it across the ground. Takes a nice mark. 45 metres out. They're doing really well to choose some time off the clock here. We're stopped. Going for number one. It's a poor kick, and it hits the behind post. Kicked it straight into the behind post. Trengo puts it on the boot. Westall quickly onto the boot. The power, but four. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Plays on from the kick in. Drives it long. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. Landed in his back on this occasion. Watts going for number one. Drop part straight through the middle. They get around him after that effort. Port Adelaide, but 10. Umpire ready to resume play. Wallace with the intercept. Burgoyne goes by hand. Williams takes a strong mark. Did well to get a hand in. He heads for home. Ball picked up. Trengo goes for territory. Hunter gathers it now. Slick with the hands. He has the ball. That kick goes out on the full. Bo drives the kick. Cleary runs after the ball. Fends off the tackler. Gets a quick kick away. Watts leaps over the top. Chose to kick it. Takes an uncontested ball. Almost cut it off. Getting pushed out of the way. Was Rockcliffe uses it now. Gets the loose ball. Dixon wins the foot race. Burton already has two goals. This for a third. Port Adelaide doing well at the moment. Ready to bring it back into play. McLean had it, lost it. Houston heads for home. The drop part sails between the big sticks. He's enjoying that goal. Port Adelaide have five unanswered goals. 17 points the difference. Port Adelaide aren't making the most of their hitouts. It's going straight to the opposition. Wins the race to the ball. The umpire calls for him. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Ball up in the centre square. Thump clear. Well collected on the bounce. Takes that one strongly. Lloyd right on the edge of his range. Oh. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Always looked like a behind. Western Bulldog close the gap to 16. Looking to bring it back into play. Motlop runs after the ball. Lloyd off the deck. That kick hits the post. Western Bulldogs keeping themselves in it. Considering the options on the kick in, plays on to himself. Elects to kick. Jonas marks it. Looks up with the kick. A big contested grab. Gets a hand in. Klurik is blowing hard after that effort. Kept alive under pressure. Tries to gain some territory. Loses control of the ball. Had the pressure bearing down. Burton slams it onto the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Houston elects to kick. Motlock with the mark. 
just gets a hand in. Under pressure, but keeps it alive. Wood handballs. Wallace comes away with the ball. Takes it well. Moves the ball by foot. McLean got under it. So, what could Western Bulldogs do with this opportunity in front of goal? He gives it a ride. It's a behind. Western Bulldogs reduce the margin. Nice hands. Kicks it out of the back 50. Bounces over the line. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and you can just sit back and enjoy it. Got the hands free. Contest the hard ball. Good mark there. The power have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Simply outplayed his opponent. Port Adelaide haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. Marks now and can send it back. Both with a penetrating handball. At full stride, receives the handball. Dunkley receives the ball. He looks like he needs a spell. He'll be kicking himself for missing that. They are really struggling in front of goal. Western Bulldogs behind by 13. Unsure of their next move. Plays on from the kick-in. Decides to kick. Intercepts the ball very well. 40 metres from home. Just a minor. A remarkable game of football. And in the end, what a result for Adelaide. Gaz, what did you think of today's game? A massive missed opportunity for Western Bulldogs. They got themselves into a good position and then just fell apart at the seams. A really disappointing result. Final scores are 8 4, 52, to 5, 10, 40. That's all the time we have for today. It's been a great day of football, and we'll see you again soon.